I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, West Monroe. I'm Toby. This is First Asia. These are your Monday morning announcements. The state playoff brackets for girls were released yesterday, and our Lady Rebel soccer team earned a 15 ranking in a first round playoff game at home. The girls will host an 18 ranked Central Lafouche this Wednesday at 5 p.m. More information about student ticket prices will be out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. The Lady Rebels would love to see a bunch of Rowdy students' fans out of there on Wednesday. FCS, FCA meets every Wednesday at 7.15 in the new gym. Everyone is welcome to join us. The Junior Civics Hand Meeting scheduled for February 1st has been canceled. Be on the lookout for more information from Mrs. Beach about an upcoming event on the 11th. Seniors, if you missed your cap and gown picture, make us will be at the Say Cheese office this Thursday from 10 to 1. The office is located at 311 Natchitoches Street in Antique Alley. Please contact them by email at saycheese at snapmeevents.com to let them know you are coming. Reservations are not required, but appreciated. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Barron in room 4206. Also seniors, Guidance just received a new community scholarship application. The Good Hope National Junior Honor Society scholarship application is available in the Guidance office and online at gorebs.org. The application is due by April 13th. Hurry up and get your applications completed and submitted as soon as possible. The scholarship application for the Norman Foundation Fund scholarship in the amount of $1,000 in the memory of Jack Norman Jr. is in guidance and online at gorebs.org. Applications are due by March 30th. Fill out your application as soon as possible. The School Construction Management at the University of Louisiana at Monroe would like to invite all senior students hoping to pursue a career in construction management. This will take place on ULM's campus at 525 Feehole Avenue in Monroe. Students and their families will get out, to be, get out to tour the school, meet faculty, students, and alumni, and receive free lunch. RSVP today by sending an email to nsmith at ulm.edu with the subject line, Open House, on February 28, 2022. Chick-fil-A leader members, we will be taking a club photo this Wednesday during second period. Please bring your club t-shirt to school. Please look forward to the Memorial Garden at the beginning of second period. An email has been sent to your teachers, and this should only take a few minutes so you can return to class. The next driver's ed class at Westmore High School will start with a parent meeting upstairs in the football field house on Saturday, February 12th at 8 a.m. Students must have a temporary ID from the DMV to take the class. Classes will be held for two weeks starting February 15th through 24th after school till 8 p.m. Tuesday through Thursday. You can sign up online at growups.org or pay cash to Coach Osborne in the PE gym. The cost is $295, and please bring a pen to class, and a yearbook and a books will be provided. You are not allowed to miss any classes, so if you have any conflicts, then this is in the class from you. There will be others to choose from during the year. Yearbooks on sale now. Get yours online only at growups.org using the online school payment swing. Attention juniors and seniors. If you're interested in healthcare careers and like to participate in the summer program MASH at Louisiana Tech, Pick up an application outside of Mrs. Nelson Room 3101. You have the opportunity to learn about medical theories, diagnosis and treatments through lab exercises and lectures in this 12-day course. You must have a 3.0 GPA or higher and at least a 21 ACT composite score. Once you have your application is complete, bring it to Mrs. Nelson Room in 3101 and she will hand deliver all complete applications to the AHEC office. Attention students, we are still accepting AHEC applications. If you don't know what AHEC is, it is a free three-week summer program at a local hospital allowing students to get up close and personal with doctors, nurses, patients, and etc. This is your chance to see if you are able to handle a medical career before going to college and it is worth a semester elective grade. If you are interested, come by room 3101 and pick up an application outside the folder for Mrs. Nelson's room before March 5th. Once you have your application completed, bring it to Mrs. Nelson and she will hand deliver all completed applications to the AHEC office to ensure nothing gets lost in the mail. There is a possibility that AHEC might be a little different this year because of COVID. And with that, these will conclude your Monday morning announcements. Have a great day, Westmore. Go Rams!